rpmnation.com. Hmm. Why is everybody whispering? <clears throat> There's no need to whisper. <laughs> It's time to give everyone a preview of what's happening this week on IPM Nation. IPM Nation sneak speak, kicking around the week ahead. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to a special holiday. That is, if you celebrate President's Day or whatever the holiday is called. Now, if you celebrate this holiday to a very special holiday edition, my apologies uh, for missing last evening. But I'm Brian Brody here, as always, with Mr. Matt Connerton from IPM Nation. Matt, how are you, sir? Good evening. I am well, uh, or uh, you could call me uh, the Emperor, as Mr. Uh, Lee Rowley <laughs> likes to call me. The Emperor, I know. Which is a lot to live up to, it so is. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh, but, there's uh, robes you know. and genuflecting, and you got to get the crown to fit just right, so there's no chafing. I tell that's you, a lot. Emperor's a pain in the ass. Uh, overall, it sounds good. You know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, Emperor, that's a good gig. Why don't I take that? But... I don't know. There's a lot of downside, a lot of downside. The (laughs) devil's in the details. Isn't it always? The fine print, they call it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got to wear those white, fluffy collars that look like the inside of pipe cleaners from when you were little. You know, those white things with a little black chick. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. So I, I, I fall more in the emperor has no clothes line if I were you. Or, but well, I don't do, look good that way either. Well, you do have a nice plaid jacket you could wear, though, minus the crown. That, I could wear the plaid yeah. jacket and sunglasses. And sunglasses, that's right. And you could still uh, require genuflecting. No, it's all right. Um, yeah. I'm liking that. <laughs> All right, brother, what else is new and exciting other than my uh, travails in uh, in uh, royal wardrobe? So uh, what else is going on over at IPMNation.com? Oh, hey, you got the bry. Yeah. That's new. The bry. The bry. Yes. <laughs> I love that. You know, I was driving around last week. And there was a radio station, oh, 97.6, the Vagabond, or whatever it was called. So I thought, wouldn't it be yeah. cool if you could go IPMNation.com, the Bry? And that's what right, came up with. Right. So I was like, huh, live on Facebook, but not on YouTube. Okay, uh, Wayne, thank you very much for that. Matt, you should know we're going out live on Facebook, but not on YouTube. Don't know what okay. that's all about, but we'll get, you know, we'll get a copy of this up to YouTube live. Um, so, Wayne, thank you very much for listening. And, uh, you know, because Wayne's back at, the, at our, our Michigan studio, Matt, as you know how that goes. Yes. Running everything, checking everything. Thanks to our good friends at, IP, at IPM Nation, as well as our friends over at Telestream's Wirecast. It takes a lot to get this all together. Uh, and for some reason, the, uh, the YouTube is not going live tonight. But we'll make sure to get a tape of this up. For those uh, that are, are are looking forward to watching the video over there, so Matt, enough okay. about us and our technical challenges. Uh, what's going on in your life? Well, let's see. So, uh, well, in, in a, a couple minutes, uh, we're going to be joined by uh, Rob of a uh, Robin Slim fame. Oh, God, not looking be, forward to that. That'll be exciting. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about them on the show, uh, but also too, I should mention quickly tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have a brand new show at 11 p.m. Eastern Ooh. on uh, IPM Nation 2 okay. called Proof of Love that's going to be uh, debuting. Proof of Love? Proof of Love. Huh. Shouldn't that have launched on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Right. It's me <laughs> channeling my inner program director, which I was having a good conversation with my friend David uh, Ray Bowman earlier, and he goes, ah, you know what? A good program director. Worth their weight in gold. Yeah, yeah I, think I, ain't yeah, got, yeah. I ain't got one of them. Uh, so yeah, that yeah. is, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Tonight at 11 okay. Eastern, yeah, uh, what is yeah. it, Proof of Love? Proof of Love. All right. Yeah. I'm sure we're very excited so, about uh, that. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, uh, three hosts, uh, okay. Tatiana Moroz, oh. uh, Lauren uh, Kasowitz, and okay. uh, Dr. Stephanie Murphy. And they'll Ooh. be talking about, uh, you know, it's about relationships and, 
uh, libertarian <laughs> activism, uh, some of that in there too, because oh. that's kind of the, the community these folks all come from. Is so, that a yeah. good? Is that a, po- a good political persuasion, libertarian? If you're trying to get late, or, or if you're trying to fall in love, I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> that's going to leave a mark. It if is. you're trying to well, fall in love, start with. They both start with L. Actually, all three of those things start with L. <laughs> I know. I meant, uh, uh, so, what did I mean? Love is what I meant. Love. <laughs> Exciting and new. I know. It sounds like the love boat when you say that. Love. Very, yes, very nice. yes. Well, that's exciting. I can't, I mean, I'll be sound asleep by then, to be honest, but I can't wait to hear sure. the podcast of it. Yes. That's yes. going to be great. Fantastic. Well, welcome, yep. ladies, uh, to IPM Nation. Now, is this their first gig? Where do they hail from? How did you get in touch with them? Uh, tell us a little more before uh, we get our caller. Well, Tatiana Morose is uh, who's one of the hosts. She's a longtime member of the IPM Nation family. Uh, she, she has another show that we've carried for a couple of years now called the Tatiana Morose Show. Oh, cool. Actually, nice. I think it's just called the Tatiana Show. I've, I've always been a little unclear on that. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, so we've known her for a while. Unclear. Jenny knows her very well. Um, I think I have a niece named Tatiana. Yeah, yeah. I Not a name you hear all the time. It's no. very Russian sounding. Well, let me so change Robert my... Mueller is aware of her. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> hey, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that because I, I, I was looking forward throughout the day. And yesterday I was a little uh, uh, under the weather, or over the scales in terms of uh, the things that I battle on a daily basis. And uh, so I knew I was getting ready to talk to you this evening. And can you just briefly at all, if you want to, I, 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 it's like I want to start this show, Matt. And I'm thinking of talking about the emperor at IPM Nation. Um, I'd like to start the show where it says, oh, you know, he's a Gemini. He's of two minds, Brian, split personality and all that. But I have had it with the people traveling overseas, uh, running for president here, hopping a quick flight overseas, and then calling uh, uh, here an embarrassment. I've, I've had it up to just as far, it, I'm almost drowning of the people going, of the sound today of all these would-be presidents deleting their Facebook tweets about this Smollett cr- a clown, only oh, now to yeah, be reposting yeah. tweets and saying, well, I'd like to wait to hear all the facts. Well, wait a minute. Where was waiting to hear all the facts when you were jumping the gun? <laughs> we're going to give them the nuclear codes? Look, I don't, give a, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what party you want to. Can you just pick yeah. someone that's got a little more common sense than, well, let's run right to the verdict without a jury trial. Let's go ahead and lambaste everyone. And then after you found out that you backed the wrong pony, now you go, oh, yeah. let's wait to hear for the facts. I don't want someone with a nuclear football with that kind of mentality. Right, right. right? And you talk I mean, all I the do time that kind of thing all the time on my show, but I'm not <sighs> running for president. I'm just saying, couldn't we get someone that knows when they smoked marijuana, who was on the radio, where their tribe is, whether they really are Spartacus, whether they're allowed to release the documents, whether they're not allowed to release the documents. I mean, is it too much to ask for as just a regular guy going, look, if you go to guns right away because you have a Twitter account, only then to delete it like the coward that you are. And then say, oh, let's wait for all the facts. Well, that doesn't do us any good when you've already launched the missile that's halfway across the Atlantic. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't have jumped the gun there. This is the, <laughs> these are the type mentalities yeah. that we have running for president? Uh, uh, is there something wrong with more me? More often than not, yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so that's what I want to get. It's so all, I'm thinking of doing a show. Really predictable. I guess it uh, is. Oh. I guess it is. Well, guess Brian, so. uh, our, our guest is messaging me. Oh. I don't know if I made a mistake and gave him the wrong number. He oh. says the number isn't working. Oh, please. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's give him, oh, the toll-free number, 833-MIND-UPS, M-I-N-D-U-P-S, or we'll do the math, 833 833-646-3877. 833-646-3877. I'm wondering if I, I'm looking back at my previous... No, nah, just blame me. Blame me. Blame it on me. I'm the one with the brain tumor. I'm, just blame me. I'm it's everyone else does. Just say it's Brian's fault. That That is, actually, that is generally easier, yeah. To blame me? Oh, look at that. Yeah, it had to be me. Couldn't have been you. The number's coming through all of a sudden. Yeah, clearly, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, somebody help me. Good evening. Welcome to Sneak Speak. Who, who's this? How you guys doing? It's Rob from Robinson. Hey, Rob. How are you, brother? 
Hey, how you guys doing? Good, thank you. Matt, can you hear? I want to make sure everyone's got the right number and everyone can hear everybody. Matt, can you hear Rob? Rob, say hello to Matt. Yeah. No, I I can hear Rob uh, loud and clear, and uh, I'm looking back at my messages, and I can confirm that uh, Brian's an idiot. I apologize. (laughs) I gave you the wrong number. (laughs) I thought so. (laughs) Hey, Rob, here's what we're just we're all willing to admit: just blame the guy with the brain tumor. Right? If there's heavy lifting involved. I just blame Slim. Yeah, just blame, I just blame him for everything. <laughs> I don't have a Slim, right? So I just brain the golf, the golf ball size brain tumor. I will tell you quickly, the other day the neighbors come up to me and go, you know, we've had like seven feet of snow, uh, and you're supposed to shovel your sidewalks. And I go, my doctor won't allow me to lift more than a gallon of milk. And they go, well, you got five days. So I look down, and I pulled up the weather, and I go, it's supposed to be 54 degrees here tomorrow. I'll let Mother Nature shovel the sidewalk. She knows how to lift with the knees. <laughs> like, I'm going to get out exactly. and shovel snow. They say, well, you know, you only have five days before you get a ticket. Well, I do have that wall, that hole in my wallpaper in the studio. I was trying to figure out what I would use to fill up that hole, so please keep the tickets coming. Um, but wow. in any event, yeah, so that's the story of my life. Rob, okay, enough really about me. That? Yeah, they give you a ticket, if right? Like some would-be dog walker is going to slip and fall in seven feet of snow. Look, if your dog needs to go out in seven feet of snow and has a tough time, get something other than a poodle. Seven feet of snow, that's what Great Danes are made for. That's what, get yourself a Rottweiler, a dog that should have like a little flask of whiskey under its neck. Get a husky, yeah. Yeah, get a yeah, husky. Exactly. exactly, that's all I'm saying. If there's seven feet of snow, put the dog in the hamster cage where it belongs and leave everybody else alone. You're going to give me a ticket because I don't shovel snow i'm injured i'm wounded i'm fragile all right rob enough yeah. about me so Matt, you take it <laughs> poor rob's going what the hell did i get into <laughs> he's gonna blame slim I've been in much worse i've yeah. been in much worse no, trust me. he was gonna blame slim he goes that damn slim he made me call in yeah. all right so i'm sorry guys you two take it away i'm gonna just sit here by myself Oh, okay. There well, uh, <laughs> Rob, uh, tell us about, for those who don't know, for the uninitiated, what, uh, tell us about the, the Robin Slim show and how long you guys have been on the air. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you've been on IPM Nation for a few years now, but obviously the show, uh, predates our association. So, uh, yeah, just yeah. want to give us yeah. the, uh, the rundown. We, we've been on, uh, doing this show about five years. We did another show previously with Slim's cousin, but Slim's cousin was a dud and he just was not funny and, didn't add anything to the show. So I was like, dude, you got to get rid of him. Or do you want me to? And like the next thing I know, Slim messages me. He's like, I fired my cousin. So I'm like, all right, dude. Okay. So Slim is cutthroat for the show. Wow. Um, and then we we started doing, um, after that, we started the Robin Slim show. Um, and yeah, we've been going ever since. I built it up from nothing. We've been on, like you said, Matt, it's at least uh, three years, right, on IPM? I think so. My God, where does the time go? But yeah, I think I it has been three years. <clears throat> and we do um, yeah. uh, about four hours, uh, like an hour and a half of news and uh, segments, and then we do like four half hour interviews every show. Wow, God, yeah. I love you. Yeah, the interviews are great, and uh, I love. Well, what's particularly great is uh, occasionally, and Brian, I don't know if you've had a chance to, to check out the show, but. Like you guys will do these interviews where where it's not even you guys; it's these characters that you've created, and those are the. I was just gonna say that we got a new one coming in a couple weeks called Mr. Ron's Neighborhood, where uh, our guy Slambo (laughs) does this character Ron, and like you said, we I always pitch these like fake shows to these certain websites to get guests. Uh, We've done Ron and Cheese, we've done Frankie and the Driz, and our new like our latest one before this was uh, Red, White, and You, and it was a political show, but. It got a little crazy. The guests were nuts. And uh, so I started this new one, Mr. Ron's Neighborhood, for uh, Slambo to do Ron, and then me and Slim could do whatever characters we want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that talented. That sounds great. Right? I'm barely lucky to get through as me. Like Lee Rowley from Cop This Speaks does uh, a Fallout Bob, and he did this French guy that got lost in the airport the other day. But, Rob, I can't, I, I can't do I can't do characters, so God love your brother. You got it. You got to come up with some characters, even if they're bad. <laughs> even if they're bad. That's why I got Slim. Uh, oh, well, well yeah. how, does, how does it go at family reunions when he goes back and finds out that th- th- everyone fingers him as the guy that fired his cousin? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if they all love it or I, I, don't, I don't know. He's got a know. strange family. so maybe, Well, maybe they're all saying, like, it. look, when he was on your show, at least he wasn't bugging us. Thanks, Slim. Now you cut him loose and he's calling us all the time like he's still on air. 
Could be. I never got that. <laughs> yeah, now I'm a little worried about this whole blaming everything on Slim. It, it sounds like he, if, if he's uh, so cutthroat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the way, I didn't mean Slim. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking. And I'm coming to you live from Tampa, Florida. Yeah, just so well, you you're know. You're the because... emperor. Are you the emperor, Matt? <laughs> That's true. That's true. You can cut slam. Yeah, you can cut slam. Yeah, yeah it's, can... it's all to you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob, can I, I ask a question? Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to ask, brother. It's got to take a lot of pre-production. Like, I'm really um, fortunate where I come down, like, literally 10 minutes before I have to go on, and I just blather on about some, you know, inane concept. But uh, so dude. I'd have to learn from you. To, I mean, how many hours does it take you to field – a show like if you're coming up with oh, it's it's like the rest of my week pretty much okay. like I work yeah I spend time with my girl and then it's show that's pretty much it um, I want to have my kids for the summer and for breaks I we take a break from the show but okay it's a lot dude I do uh, hours uh, certain nights I do like I write the scripts for the bits we do like too many rapes which is a uh, <laughs> it's a serial drama about prison prison uh, rape, which is, it, it sounds horrible. It sounds okay, horrible, yeah. but it's really funny. I know. And now we're in yeah. outer space. Now we're in outer space. Um, and I also like finding the news stories and booking the guests and confirming the guests. And it, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. So, Rob, can I ask, do you do like a mastermind? Everyone's busy now on the Internet selling mastermind classes and meetups and this and that. I think I could learn a ton if if you were to give like an online class about how you do all that. Because, like, I'm usually calling people, begging them to call in or come online or do whatever else. And most of my stick is just impromptu, right? I never know what I'm going to say uh, before wow. I say it. But Even I, my guest prep, though, yeah, like I spend the night before the show on Tuesday, I do – like hours of guest stuff. I spent about about a half an hour each guest. Okay. Just going through their their bios and all their IMDb's or whatever they got, their okay. websites and everything, just coming up with questions and all sorts of things. God, like, well, I could stand to learn from you. So if you have like an ebook or a mastermind class to. or anything coming out, I would love to learn from you because I don't have any of that brilliance. I don't have any of those street years smarts. Ago, <laughs> I was going to come up with a book. I was going to do a book called like Potteria. <laughs> like instead of diarrhea, a pottery. A, and uh, it was just going to be everything, everything I do, everything Slim does. And I just never, it's so much work, so much work to actually sit down and like get that together. But I'd love to one day. Oh, very cool. Well, I'll be the first one that to is... sign up for it. I could learn to use all, I could I could lo use that for sure. I could learn from that. And piss people off, piss people off that they listen to every word. That's the thing, make enemies. Because they listen more than the people that love you. Just like Howard said back in the day, it is. It is so true, so true. Oh, Rob, you were the wrong oh, guy yeah, for me to like, talk to tonight, huh, Matt? What, what's that, Brad? I what's said that? Rob was the wrong guy for me to talk to tonight because I'm already wired, Rob, about all, all kinds of stuff going on in the news. And I could make <laughs> enemies like you wouldn't believe, brother. So now that you've <laughs> that kind of is. been the wind underneath my the wind beneath my <laughs> wings, I'm like, all right, let's wrap this up. i got to go offend a couple hundred people, right? It's, <laughs> it's true. You get rewarded. For, for people off God all, love so. you, Rob. God love you. Bring it in for a big, a big on-air yeah, hug. Publicity. Okay, I'm sorry. It's publicity. <laughs> it's publicity. It's the best <laughs> thing you can. Uh, well, people, uh, people uh, will hate great. listen. You know, people. Sure. I mean, you know, you'll have people who love you, and you'll have people who love to hate you. Right. You know, sure. it's, it's just, uh, it, you know, and I always say, like, I have an axiom. I always say, I'd, I'd rather be loved than hated, but yeah. I'd rather be hated than ignored. Right. You know, yeah. right. Maybe it's just as strong as emotion. Yeah. Well, my yeah, family oh, listens. Yeah. I mean, it, it, as far as listeners that hate me, my family listens. I'll see my I'll see my mother in law from, I'll see my mother in law from time to time come in in the feed, and I know it only pisses her off when I call her out by name, right? Because I think they think you can slide in over on Facebook, and their name only comes up green. But they don't actually comment, but Facebook like outs them, right? So whenever you come in to watch it on Facebook Live, it outs them, and I call her out by name, and you know, that's another. <laughs> For that's real? A, yeah, yeah, that's another tough family reunion. Oh, that's yeah. funny. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah, well, Matt, Rob and I are here to tell you we're going to write a book. Uh, Slim's going to be the editor, but we're writing a book on uh, how to be unwelcome at your own uh, family reunion. <laughs> right? And the quickest way is to piss off your mother-in-law, right? And call her out by right. name. And you know, Rob, she's hate listening, right? It's not yeah. like she's running around yeah. with my bumper sticker on her car. Let's call, let's call it out for what it is. Yeah, right. It's a hate listening. <laughs> I had this guy recently, Mike the Can Man. If you want to, if you want, I can contact him and get, okay. or I can give you his contact. You can have Here him me. on. He'll hate you. If you Good. laugh, 
If you laugh at him, he will, he will troll you. He'll hate you. He'll oh, great. Every show. Oh, thank you. Is, was he right? any relation to Cellophane John? Have you ever heard of this uh, this troll named Cellophane John? No. No, you haven't yet. Okay, maybe there, maybe there's something there. I don't know, Matt. We'll have to. We'll have to. Conduct an investigation. I need to hook you guys up. Yes, Rob. I need to hook you up. I'm writing a John. Cellophane John and his sidekick, Cellophane Jane. Ooh, yeah. They got yeah. Oh, they're, Ooh. yeah. They're a, they're a tag team. <laughs> wow. Yes, indeed. Wow. Oh, man, Rob. This has made my night. Thank you, Rob. I, 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 seriously, I was just talking to Matt before he gave you the wrong number. Um, or, or right, we had a hard time calling in. I was just talking to him, going, I, with everything going on in the news, the, my head just wants to explode. Right, so maybe maybe you talk calling in tonight. Maybe that's my ticket out of here of all natural being. What a bunch of bunk! But in any event, <laughs> I digress. I'm sorry, Matt. Go ahead. This is why I gave up oh, alcohol. No, no. Uh, this is why I gave up alcohol. Quite all right. What what what, what do you guys, uh, Rob? What do you guys have coming up uh, this week on the show? Uh, this week I have a Valentine's uh, episode of Too Many Rapes. Which is causes the same problem okay. as they massacre. Uh, as usual, it's got Ryder Doll, absolute Ryder Doll on Twitter, um, at Spicoli TV, they're, they're voice actors that do parts in, in it, and, and it's me, Slam, and, and Slambo. We'll be doing that. Um, I got a new, I don't know if you heard last week, I did, um, usually do like, um, the Driz things, where Slim does the Driz character, um, and he sings like, yeah. I'll read. <laughs> like lyrics, I started Frankie Sing. So my my character Frankie Tube Stakes, I've been doing um, songs too. So I got that this week, which is going to be a good one. Uh, that um, sounds great. Uh, I have um, a couple. Of, uh, the guest I have is uh, his name is Jack from the Just Conversations Pod. I have uh, a YouTuber named Matthew Santoro. Um, a podcast called The Brew With You, and I don't know if you guys were ever Opie and Anthony fans, but I have Bobo. Oh, wow. You have Bobo from Opie and Anthony coming on? Yeah, he's going to be on this week at 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Oh, wow. wow. That's very cool, because he's still kicking around. Like, doesn't he go on uh, the Anthony Cumia show still? Yeah, he still goes on there. He just had a Christmas album drop, so yeah, I'm excited to talk to Bobo. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh, wow. Huh, that's wild. That's great. Well, good yeah. for you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, and then the usual drizzle news and Slim Celebrity Gossip. That is another great one I love, Slim Celebrity Gossip and News, because he can't, he doesn't even know the people. He can't read names. He can't <laughs> read. So Slim doing, like, celebrity news is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that is too much. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I nailed it about, uh, I don't know, a couple seasons ago, like, uh, just how to do the segments, how to do the, uh, you know, each half hour is different, uh, sure. you know, different things, and it's just, it, it's, uh, like, the best formula. Fantastic. And yeah, if I, I could mean, ask it's kind of constructed uh, like a morning. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry no, go ahead. right, no, 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 Matt, please go right ahead. I'm just fascinated. Oh, no. I, I just want to learn how he got into it. Why did he... Do you know what I mean? All that I'm just fascinated by it. But please go ahead. I've always, yeah, I've always been a like, fan of. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, I was just gonna say it's kind of like because you were you were a fan of morning radio, right? Because it's kind of constructed like a morning show. Like yeah, absolutely like that. Show. I used to work in radio too. I I, uh, I worked at a station called The Rat up in Belmont, New Jersey. So I worked there for a couple of years. So I got fired. And uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. I just always always loved radio. Always loved talk radio, especially. Well, yeah, you got to do a mastermind or a, or a, some kind of group. I would join your group to come on and do it because, uh, you know, for me, that's uh, it was my. No, I don't love anything about radio, but I have to tell you that after all these surgeries, I now know that I have a face for radio. So I had to leave TV. <laughs> I had to leave. Are you, are you a programming director, Brian? Uh, yeah, that's what. I, that's what it is. Yeah, and I'm I'm, I'm a struggling waiter. I, my real uh, uh, main goal in life is to wait tables. Uh, so in the interim, I decided to do morning car call-in radio shows. And someone said the other day, well, you know, you have more head scars than most Vikings. And I go, thank you. That's why oh. I'm doing radio, guys. And, of how course. How did you know? How did you, uh, when you, you mentioned the brain tumor, how did you realize? 
like that that you had that. Oh, you know, total fluke, brother. I, a doctor says, well, that's not normal, but you're in great health. You have no, you have nothing for your age. You don't take any medication. There's nothing wrong with you. But he goes, just to be safe, let's send you for an MRI. And wow. the, 11 hours later, I was under the knife. They found a golf ball sized brain tumor. And he goes, yeah, I'm thinking this might be causing some of the trouble. And uh, they ran me in for the uh, for the surgery, and and uh, they sprung a leak, and they had to put me on a spinal tap for a month, staring up at the ceiling Ooh. of the hospital, and they still couldn't plug the leak. So then they figured, oh well, let's just keep doing surgeries on this boy. Um, so Ooh. then they gave me a shunt. Blah, 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 blah. We didn't call to talk about me, but so in any event, I got into. <laughs> I got into doing radio because I was like, there's no one going to hire you. You've got more scars than like a, a road atlas. They're not going to hire you. You wear a hat, though. You can wear a, what is it, a fedora <laughs> oh, or I something. do. Oh, believe me, I used to wear hats all the time, and people go, well, why do you always wear hats, sunglasses, this and that? And I go, because I scared little kids. I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, because when I had this, they gave me a shunt, which means they put like another golf ball on the top of my head, the shunt. And it gave me an appreciation for big breasted women who it's never happened to the three of us, I know. But I've heard guys talk about they'll be talking to women and the women motion. They go up here, up here, my eyes, they're up here. And I'd be out in, I'd be out in public. I'd be out in public and I'd go to people, excuse me, excuse me, down here, down here. My eyes are down here. People would be having conversations with the top of, you know, wow. just looking at my shunt. And I'd notice wow. just like just yeah. going up, like, yeah. like standing high, taller yeah. to, like, get a better yeah. look. Like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah, get a peach crate. <laughs> I started bringing my own step-up ladder. Oh, here, come on, just step up. I'm waiting on the bus. Just step right out, get yourself a good look. But <laughs> that's what happened to me. That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, you Matt. Get some tattoos there, like a yeah. like a SoundCloud rapper. Oh, you know what, my you brother? Know what I mean, yeah, my brother wanted me yeah. to get a big horseshoe one that said "Perforate Here." <laughs> so, 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 all right, I'll be quiet. So, Matt, what else is going, Rob? I'm fascinated. I cannot wait to hear your show. And you've given, uh, you've rekindled uh, my desire to do two things: make enemies. So I'm a lifelong fan because of that. And two, just the work ethic that you bring to it. I it just I'm yeah. just God love you. I'm a huge fan, just so you know. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Matt, I'm sorry, I'll be quiet now. I keep saying I'll be quiet, but it, it you know. No, no, it, it's all good. I am curious <laughs> why Rob got fired from from uh, that station. Oh, it is just as you've heard on um, like Open Anthony, um, uh, what I was doing, I was doing, um, I did the morning show like once a week with this guy, Carl, and uh, I had my own late night show with my uh, buddy Derek, and we started getting gigs where like they were sending us to um, to a bar or somewhere to, you know, host a gig and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we were moving up pretty quickly, me and Derek, and it just seemed like a lot of people were uh, not feeling that jealous. They've been there for 10 years and still, you know, scrubbing toilets type of thing, so... <laughs> Uh, Derek yeah. was going to pick me up for the gig, and the, the the van keys were missing. All of a sudden, the van keys are missing. Like I, we were pretty sure somebody like did it on purpose. But so it took him oh, forever yeah. to find them, and uh, he was late picking me up. We were late getting there, so the club owner was such a dick, such a dick. He was he was so insulted, and then he he was just a dick to us all night. Um, and it was kind of like, kind of like I went up on stage after already already like failing and it's just the whole thing bombed the whole gig bombed the guy was mad uh, that we were sent and not like bigger you know uh talent at the station and all sorts of stuff um so uh what happened was um this guy was so pissed that he pulled two weeks worth of advertising with the station oh. so like twenty thousand or something dollars this guy like you oh. know kept from them and they fired me because of it it was oh. just like oh. Just like set up for failure. Wow. Set up right. for failure. Well, you got a better gig going on now. I it's I cannot wait for your next show. And like I said, I even though we have to get ready to wrap, come back, Rob. Please come back anytime. And maybe Matt, we should think to. about taking a, a sneak speak, making it an hour long show. But Rob, continued success. Uh, like I said, I've learned a ton from you already in just this short little bit of time. And uh, thank you so much for everything. I super appreciate your call and time. Matt, in our closing, now one minute. Anything else you want to add real quick before we get out of here? No, just uh, Rob, thank you so much. And everybody check out the Rob and Slim show. It's very, very funny. And, uh, and as thank you heard, you know, Rob, I, 
Rob and Flynn put a, a lot of work into it. And uh, check it out. It's great. Live does, Wednesday I, nights on IPM Nation, too. I should have mentioned that. He does all the editing, all the uploading. He does a lot of work as well. So Very we cool. Do, we both very okay. cool. Well, please tell them we said howdy. And uh, that's all the time we have for this week's holiday edition of uh, of Sneak Speak. Thank you so very much to Rob from Rob and Slim. You're going to want to tune in Wednesday nights, hear everything they've got going on. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a huge fan. Also, a special thank you to Matt. Let me say hello because I neglected it this evening. Jeremy in the feed. Amy in the feed. Wayne. Um, let me see. I saw Jenny in here as well. Thank you so very much for joining us. IPM Nation's Sneak speak we are out of here we hope to see you next week